folks, we're through the first week of free agency for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and they've done a lot already. They brought back Jamel Dean. They brought back Levante David. They signed Baker Mayfield. They signed Greg Gaines. They had done a fantastic job of adding new faces and bringing back old faces that has really been a effort to retool this Buccaneers roster rather than rebuild. But there is still one signing that I feel this team could make to really put a bow on their free agency period and continue to even further solidify their roster right now. And that is getting a veteran left tackle. The Buccaneers have moved on from Donovan Smith, and that was an understandable move. He cost a lot of money. The Buccaneers needed to get under the salary cap, and there was a general feeling that it was just time to move on from Donovan Smith anyway. Now, there's been a lot of speculation and a lot of rumors as to what the Buccaneers are going to do at left tackle now since the departure of Smith. Are they going to move Tristan Wirfs from right tackle to left tackle? Are they going to draft a left tackle in the NFL draft? Those are some considered possibilities, but I feel whichever route the Buccaneers decide to take, I believe at the absolute minimum, they need to sign a veteran, a guy who has started games before at left tackle. And the reason I say this is because any way the Buccaneers go, be it an offensive rookie, be it moving worse from right tackle to left tackle, there is going to be a pretty substantial risk there. And I may talk about that in a separate video, but that is going to be a potential risk. So if you go out and you do get an insurance option, a guy who can be a backup left tackle for you that has experience starting in the past, you are lowering that risk significantly, in my opinion. You have a guy that can start if you absolutely need him to. And three names that came to mind for me were George Fant of the New York Jets, Eric Fisher of the Miami Dolphins, and Cameron Fleming of the Denver Broncos. All three players are guys that have a market value of either 2.5 million in the case of Cameron Fleming, 3.3 million in the case of George Fant, or just played on a very cheap veteran minimum type deal in the case of Eric Fisher. And I think that all three of those guys should be and hopefully will be considered by the Buccaneers here in this next week of free agency. All three guys have shown solid starting ability at left tackle in the past, especially in the case of George Fant. And I believe that that would be very instrumental and very key for the Buccaneers to lower that potential risk at left tackle and just give themselves as many insurance options as they can possibly have at that left tackle position. Because at the end of the day, you don't know how potentially Tristan Wirfs may play at left tackle. You do not know how a first round, second round, third round left tackle may play in their first season. So by getting a guy, you have a person that can start there, that can be your left tackle if you do not want to experiment, do not want to run that risk of putting Tristan Wirfs at left tackle or having an offensive rookie go in there. You have that insurance policy. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.